And the hallowed halls of Andover High School. Welcome to section playoff volleyball, section 7 4A here tonight. One of four quarterfinals going on in section 7 4A. And uh, by Thursday of next week, they will crown a champion and a team that will go to the XL Energy Center and participate in the 2023 State High School Volleyball Tournament along with uh, Pete Anderson. I'm Jim Erickson. Tonight, third-seeded Andover hosting sixth-seeded Centennial. And uh, these teams played once earlier, Pete. It was a 3-1 Andover win over at Centennial, which is kind of an interesting tidbit, something that I dug up earlier here today, is that the road team has won the last five meetings between these teams. And for Andover, they're hoping that that doesn't continue tonight. They hope to put that to an end and get to the semifinals on Monday. Yeah, that's the goal. It, it, you know, and, and we've had a chance to cover a couple of uh, Andover matches here this season. I've had a chance to see this, uh, this team play a handful of times this season as we look at starters for Nicole Christensen's uh, Centennial team, Nora Lizer, Emerson Jennings, Emma Peterson, and Elena Hockey are the middle blockers. Outside hitter at our Aubrey Workala and Lily Sang is the defensive specialist. Nicole Christensen is in her first year taking over from a longtime head coach at Centennial, Jackie Rabine Manthe, who had been there for 20 years, had tremendous success, including some state tournament uh, berths for Centennial and a lot of battles against the Blaine Bengals in what used to be Section 5 before the uh, addition of a new uh, class. And they moved to four classes here with these teams now all basically be in, being in Section uh, 7 here amongst the uh, Metro schools and the big schools. You see the starters and the entire lineups being announced here tonight at Andover High School. The Centennial Cougars are 9-13. and 13. They were 1-5 in the Northwest Suburban Conference in the A Division. Meanwhile, Andover 10-17, and 3-3, three and three, finishing fourth. And, Pete, there are the starters for the hometown Huskies for uh, Coach Huberty. Yeah, it's, uh, and it all starts up front with those middle hitters and the outside hitter, Morgan Miller, Allie Danicky, Isabella Moses. Uh, when, when those three are on their game, they're rotating well, they're, they're seeing the ball, and they're, they're tracking uh, well because of their vision because of their ability to, to see lanes when they're on they're unstoppable Madeline Swanson, Claire Van Geem and Grace uh, Landry will round out the lineup as the back row players to start out here for Connie Huberty and her Huskies. Both teams playing pretty well to end the season. They've won more than they've lost. Centennial's won three of their last four. Andover's won three of their last five. I asked Coach Huberty how they are playing. She felt they were playing very well here at the end of the year. She said her team this year was a, a strange team saying, and in relation to playing at home, they were just two and six at home this year. She said they were better a team on the road. They played better on the road uh, here this year than they did at home. They were two and six at home, three and three on the road, and five and eight uh, at neutral. And I suggested to her, well, then, you know, if you're at, what you should do is just put them on the bus, drive them around, you know, take them on Hanson down to, you know, 242 or Main Street, County 14, bring them back around and, and then drop them off here and make it like a road game. You're aging yourself by calling it 242. I know. I no, know. That's, that's all right. Exactly. But, uh, you know, it, you know, the fact is, is that Andover's had, you know, their, their home schedule has been a lot tougher right. than, uh, than their road schedule. Uh, you know, playing the Maple Groves here, Forest Lakes here, um, you know, th that all contributes to to that record. And, you know, you look at those two games in particular, those two games were, that were here, um, you know, those are games where Andover at times in that match was the better team. They looked better. They had per better for performances. And ultimately it was that not just falling off and not just the other team coming up and stepping up. It was them, you know, kind of shooting themselves in the foot down late um, and so you know you you, you hope that uh, here in this uh, this building this arena here tonight they're going to be able to come out and execute the game plan from the first serve to the last one this is the three versus six quarterfinal matchup the winner will take on the winner of forest lake and duluth east at the high seed forest lake the number two seed duluth east number seven playing at forest lake here tonight 
as it'll be the Andover Huskies starting out here with the serve. Claire Van Geem to get us going here on a Wednesday night at Andover High School. Centennial little tip over. And it's back to the Huskies. Huskies on the backside. And they give it up to Denicky, And it's long. So it is Centennial who gets on the board here first. one nothing. That'll side out. And they will serve. Yeah, good uh, good attempt there by Denicky. Just a little bit long, a little bit strong. You, you always assume, all right, the adrenaline's going to die down. And we're going to be able to settle into that. Emma Peterson serving. It's a net serve that dangles on the top of the net and drops. Nothing the Huskies could do. 2 nothing Centennial. Emma Peterson, junior outside hitter, delivers this one over the net. Played by Vocati, who's the libero over free ball by Andover. Passed by Hakey in the net and down on the Centennial side. So Andover will get their first point, and they'll get the side out and the serve, trailing it here 2-1. to one. Yeah, Centennial trying to, uh, to sneak in that middle attack right there, and uh, Denicky and Moses combining right there, sod all the way and uh, actually got to the point first, got up above the, the, the net before that ball even did. They, they read that well. Here's Addison Vocati, the libero, ready to serve, and she drops one just over the net. Passed ahead by Hakey, and then on the right side, and the big drive from the right outside hitter. And nicely delivered there by number three for Centennial, Nora Leeser, who is an eighth grader, making her first start. They started an eighth grader and a ninth grader, and they have another ninth grade setter that also plays in the rotation, so they are very young with just one senior on their team. And now here is their libero, Mondry serving, and it's over off of Andover, and that's going to be out of bounds. 4-1 Centennial. Avery Mondry, who's the only senior on the Centennial roster. Jump serve to the back row. Huskies pass it ahead. They'll set up on the left side for Denicky. Dug out Mondry. To the right side, Moses. The hit is going to be down on the Centennial side and a point here for Andover. It's 4-2. to two. Yeah, a good point there. Uh, you know, just setting up for Centennial. They had the opportunity, just uh, not enough elevation, getting that, uh, just trying to really uh, get a heel strike, not really putting a big hit into that. Uh, just trying to get that over, unfortunate uh, error there for Centennial. Harper Lean serving here for the Huskies, the junior setter. Passed ahead by Workala, and Centennial cannot get it to their hitter. And it's down on the Centennial side. Point again for the Huskies, and they're within one, four to three. Net presence uh, thus far is, has definitely been an advantage to the Huskies through seven points. Lean serving again. Passed ahead by Workala to the near side. There goes Hakey. She's 6'3", and she's all a 6'3", and boy, can she get up there. And she hammers that down from the left outside. A point for Centennial. 5-3. Wow. You know, that, that that type of athleticism where, you know, she went up, her, her momentum was taking her to the far corner from our advantage point, and she was able to turn midair and uh, get that down the line. Centennial gets the service, but the service here, Lily Sang, the sophomore, sends it down the far sideline, but out of bounds just wide of that uh, paint. And it's 5-4 with Andover serving here down by one. Serving is Denicky. Delivers to the far side, passed ahead, sang, it's into the net, it rolls over. And the point's going to go to Andover because the Centennial player was in the net. That ties us at five here in the first set. Right, good uh, good run here, and, you know, the Huskies early on, not uh, not really commi committing many errors, uh, just some good uh, hits and, by Centennial to yeah. get their points. And then an ace serve by Denicky as the Sang was unable to steer that one and keep it in play, and that gives the Huskies their first lead, 6-5. We're in the first set. Section 7-4A uh, quarterfinals. Denicky to serve again. Delivers it right back to Lily Sang, to the net, tipped over on the second hit by Manthe, the setter, and then played out over on two by Andover. Scrambling save by Centennial, and Hakey knocks it over. Here's the Huskies. Danica Lenz. Centennial plays that. There's a set here in the near side. A line drive set over to Wirkala for Centennial. Finds a little hole and drops it in. Andover can't keep it alive. We're tied at six again. 
Good rally at both teams. I thought Andover was, was you know, going to have an opportunity to uh, to get a really good set there for, for Danica Lenz on the far side, and I think it might have been just underneath her reach there. Wasn't able to get a really good look at it. We're Kala serving for Centennial, but it is in the net and a service error. And that'll side it back out here. 7-6 Huskies. Huskies most recent match. They lost to Robbinsdale Armstrong. That was the crossover between the A and B divisions in the Northwest Suburban Conference. Fell to Armstrong three sets to two. There is an ace tip. Point and over on the ace serve by Harper Lean, and she'll get to do it again. It's 8 6. Good solid serve. She, uh, she likes Check that, that low that's line. Izzy Roy. Yeah, Izzy Roy. She'll, uh, she'll mix it up with her serves, uh, have a little bit of mix to them. Oof. There's the back set to six foot three, Elena Hakey. She's a force. 8 7 Husky side out to Centennial with a big kill. Hakey just a sophomore. And she is in Minnesota, the top in her class. And I'm not surprised by that at all. Battle at the net. Huskies get it over, tipped by Centennial. And ends up going out of bounds on the Centennial side. Huskies get a side out, 9-7 in favor of Andover. A really good play there by Isabella Moses. Not necessarily going for the kill and, uh, you know, just uh, to directed that into a spot that was poorly defended by Centennial. Maddie Swanson checks in. Here's the Landry serve on the Centennial side. Quick little tip. Good recovery there by Izzy Roy. Near side, Swanson up and over. Dug out by Centennial. And I think the Cougars are going to get called for a double hit on the set attempt, and it is. So that is a hitting air on Centennial. 10-7 and over. Set one. Just over the net. Very nice uh, serve by Landry, but Centennial recovers. Hammered over then by Wirkala. Huskies ready for that. Left side drive by Lenz. Centennial sets it up to the near side, driven over Peterson. Back to the Huskies. Back set for Swanson. And it's off the block and down. Point for Andover. That was our best rally on either side in volley of the night. As Centennial call a timeout. Absolutely. Uh, really good setup uh, a couple of different times there by Andover. Uh, on the far side, uh, it was Danica Lenz who put a really good charge into one. It was a really good dig here on the near side by Centennial. And then Andover gets it back on their side and you go the other way and uh, we're able to get that point. But uh, really, really good smooth movement by the Huskies. Uh, they're, they're very easily finding their, their place on the floor, uh, not having any uh, congestion. Those have been things that have hampered the Huskies here this season. And, and seeing that they're not having any of those issues early is a good sign for them. The Centennial Cougars are coming into this section tournament as the defending section champs. They won their third section championship in program history last year. Wins over Coon Rapids, Blaine, and Forest Lake. Then they lost in the state quarterfinals, but then won the next two. They were the consolation champs last year at the uh, state volleyball tournament. And then Jackie Rabine Manthe stepped down after 20 years. And the new coach, Nicole Christensen, who is a Forest Lake product, in fact, is the all time leader at Forest Lake High School in dig. She was the libero for the Forest Lake Rangers, and there's a chance that they could take on Forest Lake if Centennial advances her old team. Andover trying to prevent that here tonight. Another wonderful serve by Denicky this time, just barely over the net. Boy, that one just dropped, and check that was 17 Landry. And uh, Landry dropped that over the net as a beauty and an ace. And, and you love to see that out of a timeout. To, you know, a lot of times that's what a coach is looking for is to try to stop a run. And uh, Landry, so calm and cool, went back to the same serve that uh, Centennial struggled with the time before. Both teams go back and forth on this one. Blocked by Andover. Left-handed tip over by Manthe and down. Chase Manthe, freshman on this young Centennial team. And she puts it down for a Centennial point. 12-8 Huskies here in the first set. Emerson Jennings will serve here right to left for the Cougars. Passed ahead, quick set Landry. Left side drive over, dug out by Centennial. Played over where Culla. And that one over on one, and it's dunked, a two-hand dunk. But it never went over the net. It, Looked like Lily Sang was at the net. She tried to do the two-hand dunk and just miss hit it and it landed down on the Centennial side. 13-8 Huskies. Claire Van Geem. 
to Hakey. Pushed over by Centennial. Huskies able to set up near side Swanson. That's blocked and down on the Andover side. Good block in the middle by Nora Leeser. Eighth grade middle blocker at 5'11. 13 9. Huskies lead. Centennial serving. Lean again. Dug out, pushed ahead by Roy. And that's down right at us. We're down on floor level. That's a kill for Andover. 14 9. And I tell you what, being on floor level, Pete, you get a, especially when those uh, attacks are coming at us, you get a, and the serves, you get a whole new kind of perspective and appreciation. Yeah, it, it was a, it was a direct eye line for, uh, for my vantage point. It was coming <laughs> right at me. Good, uh, good hit, good attack there. Volcati serving here for the Huskies. They're up by five, 14-9. Drive over Wakulla. Back here to the Huskies. Left side, Denneke. Overhand dig there by Hakey and then played over free ball by Centennial. Husky set up. Quick set in the middle for Morgan Miller. But that was dug out. The two big players, Miller and Hakey. And that one's off the antenna off of Andover. Out of bounds. Far side antenna. Point Centennial. They've cut it to four, 14-10. We've got two very good players. Morgan Miller, the senior, 6-2. And then Elena Hakey, the 6'3 sophomore on the Centennial side. Mondry serving. Quick serve in the middle for Miller. Did she find the court? And she did. Cross court, far corner, and it's in. 15-10 Huskies. Yeah, a really good uh, opportunity there for Miller. She loves uh, hitting through the middle and, and finding those alleys, those lanes to the outer, outer part of the, the court. And uh, she had an opportunity last point as well. This time she's able to put it home for a point for the Huskies. 15-10, Huskies serving. It's Harper Lean over on one and dunked by Miller. That was uh, low-hanging fruit there for Morgan Miller as that went over on their serve-receive. And that was an easy one-hand dunk. Another point for the Huskies. They lead 16-10 and another timeout here for the Cougars. And I think this is a, you know, for Coach Christensen, this is a, an opportunity to, to talk to her team because right now where they're, they're losing or where they're not, uh, a, you know, able to defend is at the net. They're not uh, going and attacking, uh, you know, the, the, the kill lanes, the attack lanes for the Huskies, getting hands in their way, trying to force them to, uh, to change their, their angle, change their body position. And it, it makes it really easy for hitters as uh, on the Andover side when you know going up to uh, to that ball and where you're when you're leaping where you're hitting it yeah and centennial did suffer a late season injury in the last match of the season which was a win over to tino grace and their crossover it was uh sixth place versus sixth place a division versus b division and their middle hitter is a sophomore six foot one addison kemper was injured and that's why nora leeser 5 11 eighth grade middle block is in there here tonight. So they might be missing Addison Kemper, Nora Leeser, kind of baptism by fire, if you will, for Centennial. Here's a serve left to right back to action here by Lean. It comes to Hakey, and she cleans house. Point Centennial side out. I mean, when, when you're as athletic as that at that size, it, you know, it just kind of begs the question. And, how does she not have more kills? Right, Lily Sang serving. Back row pass. Back set by Harper Lean, but that's a double hit. The whistle that down, and Centennial's within four now, 16-12, serving. Lily Sang serving again off the top of the net. That's the second time here this set. That Centennial on their serve has used the top of the net to their advantage. Sang gets an ace, 16-13 Andover. I'm thinking if we see a point here for Centennial, we're going to see the first time out by Akani Huberty on this uh, next one. Sang, strong serve. Pushed over by Johnson with a roll shot, and in the middle, nice little tip. Oh, Libero Vokati saved it, then it came back to Hakey, who's got just at 6-3, such a wide wingspan there in the middle. It's tough to get it past her when she's there. And Centennial's cut this to two here, 16-14 in the first set. Yeah, I mean, Hanky's already, Hecky is already you know, operating with four kills here through this first set. And, uh, you know, she's... Uh... Sang goes deep on her jump serve. 
That'll help Andover out. Stop that run by the Cougars. 17-14 Huskies serving. And that, you know, that that's a big help. Obviously, uh, you know, you get those service aces. That's a, you know, you don't even give your team the chance. That's the feeling you have as a coach there. Denicky serving, and they get it to number six. Elena Hakey right in front of us, left outside, goes cross court. And nothing they can do about that. That's a kill and a point here to Centennial, 17-15. Ninth grader Workala, her jump serve. These young players are good for Centennial. They got an outstanding future. Little tip attempt in the middle here by the Huskies, and that one's directed out of bounds. And Centennial now has it to within one, 17-16. Yeah, just to, you know, maybe trying to do a little bit too much there for Miller. Uh, it, it, instead of uh, just kind of going down the middle, she would got herself trying to aim too much. Lenz knocks it over for the Huskies. Back to Hakey. Andover ready for that one. Outside, left side, off of the block. And a point here for Andover. That goes as a kill for Danica Lenz, the sophomore. And uh, that uh, gets Andover's lead back to within two. As Centennial got it to within one. It's 18-16 Huskies. Yeah, this is a big opportunity for the Huskies with Izzy Roy on the serve here. Yeah, Roy with nice low serve. It's passed and played nicely back to the Huskies. They'll set up on that far side to Lenz. Blocked right back at the Huskies. Denicky tried the dig. She went down for it. Point Centennial. Another kill for them and a side out. And it will be Elena Hakey to serve. Jump serve from the middle. Goes to the back row. Pushed ahead by Roy. Then here on the near side, fighting her way through it as Johnson comes back to the Huskies. Left side, Lenz drive. Dug out by Hakey. Then set up Manthe. Kicked around. It's on the Andover side. They've got one more hit. No. They were out of hits. And it goes over in a point here to Centennial. And they've come back to tie this up. It's 18 all in the first set. Here's a, here's kind of the moment uh, that the, the the challenge that uh, Coach Huberty has put towards her team is where where does your mind go where does your focus go when the the adversity hits? Huskies the, knock it over comes a Centennial to the back row dug out and over back set Johnson that set was a little bit off Johnson was outside the antenna it's down on the Andover side it's 1918 Centennial and right now Pete here in this first set Centennial has the momentum. Absolutely, they do. You know, they've uh, been playing really solid, and, you know, you get carried, uh, you know, by a very, very strong player at the net in, in uh, uh, Hecky, who is, is, I mean, absolutely just dominating. She's kind of imposing her will when she gets those sets of those passes to her and uh, has accounted already for, for five kills here tonight. Um, you know, in the service game, they've been strong and, you know, have really kind of counted on Andover Miss hits, miss playing the ball here to, to get stay in this match and stay in this first set. The other matchups tonight in Section 7-4A, top-seeded Anoka. They were the unanimous number one seed. They're hosting Coon Rapids tonight. Number five, Blaine, is up at number four, Cambridge Isani. We mentioned already Forest Lake, runners-up last year to the Centennial team. They are the two seed. They're hosting uh, seventh-seeded Duluth East. And then, of course, Centennial land over here. The winners will play in the semifinals, the high seeds on Monday. And then on Thursday of next week, a week from tomorrow, championship match at North Branch High School. Huskies are going to try and end this uh, run that Centennial has with uh, Hakey. That jump serve long. So that's the break coming out of the timeout, exactly what the doctor ordered for the Huskies here. Tied at 19, they'll get the serve. Yeah, that's a, a really, really big play. You know, kind of the, the coach's ideal play coming out of a timeout. You get somebody who's cold, who hasn't had that uh, that motion. And that's, the, you know, typically the, the highest time for a service error. Landry's serve is off the top of the net through the timing off. It's an ace. Workala tried to pass that ahead, but the net... Threw it off just enough. Off her arm, out of bounds. 2019 Huskies. This serve is going to be low by Grace Landry. Service errors were a problem in their match against Robbinsdale Armstrong. That 3-2 loss here on Tuesday of last week. 
They had uh, 19 service errors in that match, according to Coach Huberty. And uh, just uncharacteristic of this team were tied at 20. Yeah, it's been a, it's been an issue that they've uh, they've been working on all season, and we'll be looking to uh, to rectify. And, and it will be a key point if they can make a, a deep run into the sections and towards the state tournament. Jennings served down the line misses, so back to back service errors for each team here. That'll get it back to the Huskies in a 21-20 lead. Play to 25. Got to win by two. Service left to right Van Geem. She started the match right side. Peterson big hitting down. Centennial answers from a right side kill tied at 21. That was a big hit there by Peterson. She's listed at 5'7", and she was full head and shoulders above that net. Yeah. She's got some ups for 5-7. Here's her serve. Huskies have to steer it back to the middle plate over free ball Landry. They got a chance to set up. Cross court here near side work. A lot down the line. Touched by Andover. Point Centennial. 22-21. Centennial has the lead and they get the serve back. And a close play at the net. Peterson serving again. Goes back row right down the middle. Passed ahead by Izzy Roy to the far side. The drive is down. Wonderful drive by Ali Denicky, a sophomore, young outside hitter. Andover needed that to tie it at 22. Yeah, that's a really big play for Ali. She's uh, she's just grown so much this season. And, uh, you know, coming off of last year where she got a little bit of varsity experience, not a ton, uh, you know, kind of got a taste. And this year she's just been a, you know, a full six rotation player and has been huge for the Huskies. Hakey gets it back, and they, she missed. Oh, it was a give and go. Hakey on the pass, serve, receive to the setter, then right back to Hakey. Back row attack outside that attack line, but missed it. 23-22 Huskies. Okay, yeah. to serve again. That's a really, really big call. You know, and good call. It was, she went a clear long. They do the same thing as more of a roll shot. You can tell they're trying to serve it to big Elena Hakey. Comes back to Centennial. Hakey again, back row drive. That one will be a point for Centennial. Landry tried to dig it, dig it out. That's a lot of velocity coming at her from Elena Hakey, and it's 23 all. Hey, I mean, it, you said it. She's got so much velocity that that arm swing, she's got uh, obviously the leverage piece of it, the, the length. But, uh, you know, she is, is absolutely tattooing that ball every time she gets a hand on it. Avery Mondry, the only senior here for Centennial. The libero delivers it over on the serve. Denneke, oh my goodness, that pass was over the net and hammered down by Hakey. So a service pass error, and uh, Hakey made Andover pay for that as she absolutely hammered it down. No chance for the Huskies to be ready for that, and it's now set point with a timeout Andover. Yeah, it's a, it's a big timeout. This is a, you know, you're hoping for, you know, a, an unforced error, service error, or, you know, your opportunity to uh, to really make sure that we're setting things up. You're able to get right into your offensive set, get your best attack coming back, and, you know, get a, get the ball on the floor on the other side, add that point, get back into your service, and, uh, you know, try and start a, that uh, quick run to come back and, and take this set, uh, a set that they led for the majority of uh, of of the time. Along with Pete Anderson, I'm Jim Erickson here, sectional playoff volleyball. We'll take a look at our broadcast schedule coming up with uh, more state tournament soccer, boys soccer tomorrow. A lot of activity. We're getting into the fall playoff season, so it is set point 24-23. Mondry serving right to left here for Centennial on set point. Back row Denneke. Set by Landry to the far side. Denneke knocks it over. They're going to try and set up. No, they, they skip it over Hakey, and Workala hits it. Another chance for Denneke off the block. Dug out back to Centennial. Peterson plays it over free ball. Huskies a chance to set it up. Vocati to the near side. Cross court Swanson. Dug out Centennial. Again, they go to the near side. Workala who rolls it over. Now in the middle, quick one for Miller, and she puts it down. That was Miller versus Hakey right at the net. And Morgan Miller able to beat Hakey, a directional kill, and we're tied at 24. 
Yeah, a lot of credit to Morgan right there. Uh, you know, I think she had, had changed her attempt, uh, changed her plan midair. She saw Hecky right there with her and, uh, you know, decided she was going to take a little bit off and go directional. Goes off the side of Hecky's hand and falls. That's a huge point for the Huskies. Ties it at 24. Takes away set point and serving is lean. To Hakey, near side, drive, dug out. Can they get to it? They can't. It was dug by Vokati, but it went away from the net instead of toward the net, and it's back to being set point centennial, serving Lily Sang. This is the first set. And if this is any indication, we're in for a good one here tonight. Sang, serving, set point, Vokati. Set, middle, Miller blocked! Miller versus Hakey, and Hakey blocked Miller and put it down on the Andover side, and Centennial takes set number one, 26-24. That was a back-and-forth set. Andover had control early on, and Centennial had the momentum and able to ride that here to a 26-24 win. Yeah, you know, and we, we talk about, uh, you know, riding that. I mean, that, uh, that Centennial Cougar team was on the shoulders of Elena Hecke right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven kills yep. in that first uh, in that first set. And of course, an ace block to clinch it. 26-24, your final in set one here. Sectional playoff volleyball set two coming up here on QCTV Sports. See you right there. Wait. Use the shovel and bucket of water, remember? Drown, stir, drown, feel. Then make sure it's cool. Where'd you learn that? SmokyBear.com. Brushed up on some tips before we left. Don't want to start a wildfire, right? <laughs> Only you can prevent wildfires. As Americans, there's one thing we can all agree on the promise of our Constitution, and the hope that liberty and justice is for all people. For over 100 years, the ACLU has fought on behalf of millions of Americans, protecting our vote and our voice, freedom to love who we love, the right to choose, and much more. Learn how ACLU's defending free speech and all our civil liberties at myaclu.org. to leave my baby in the hospital NICU. If we come together, we can help every mom and baby be healthy and strong. Joy March for Babies, a mother of a movement. <laughs> You're not gonna get it all right. Just make sure you nail the big stuff. Mama! Like making sure your kids are in the right seat for their age and size. Get it right at NHTSA.gov slash the right seat. Getting, getting ready for set number two, 26-24 Centennial. Won the uh, first set. Both teams back out on the uh, court. These teams in the Northwest Suburban Conference. Of course, we're in sectional play now, but for the second consecutive year, Rogers uh, defeated Champlin Park in the crossover round, winning the overall Northwest Suburban Conference championship. Rogers finished 6-0 in the B division. Meanwhile, Champlin Park 6-0 in the A division. They faced off last Tuesday, October 17th, and Rogers defeated Champlin Park uh, three to two. I like how they do that, where they have the divisions and then they cross over the last uh, that the last date of the conference uh, schedule. Yeah, you know it, it gives a little bit more ability to uh, you know just focus on that uh, the shorter conference schedule. You've got uh, limited games, so it gives a little bit more flexibility. Emma Peterson serving here for Centennial to start out and cleaning up. Oh, I was going to say cleaning up at the net was uh, Isabel Moses. But she's going to be called in the net by the floor referee. And that will give the point to Centennial to start here in set two. 
Peterson serving. Back row Van Geem tipped around on the Andover side, and they can't keep it alive. Centennial early here up 2-0. And these are the, 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 the mistakes that uh, any good volleyball team can, can overcome. You just can't let them build up. Peterson to Vokati. Denicky in the middle. Driven over Landry with her feet on the court. And then at the net, the eighth grader, Nora Leeser, spinning around, doing almost a 360, coming around and knocking that one over 3-0. Yeah, really uh, athletic play up the middle. You know, she had that, uh, that play in the first set where she knocked it to her own side. That one was much more athletic. Back set here for the Huskies. They set up uh, Maddie Swanson. Here on the near side, it goes cross court and down on the Centennial side. Andover will get their first serve. It's 3 1 Centennial. Bocati to serve. This is set number two. Centennial up a set, and that one's going to be in the net. Off the cable and down. Service air, point Centennial, 4 1 Cougars, and in to serve will be uh, Avery Mondry. Just one service error in that first set for the Huskies, but uh, that's definitely something that uh, I know that they've worked on and are, are focused on making sure it doesn't cost them. Quick little set in the middle for Landry, giving it to Miller, and then Hakey, who sets to Workala. Huskies dig it out. They go over to Denicky down the line, dug out nicely by the libero for Centennial. Mondry back over on the Andover side. A double hit called on Centennial. Point here for Andover. That's, a, I think, the third time that uh, there's been a ball real close to that tape that, uh, you know, potentially could be going over that Centennial's tried to save for an extra hit instead of tapping over the net. The first one was by Leeser where she knocked it on her own side. I think that was mm -hmm. what she was attempting to do. And that's the second time they've actually been able to uh, accomplish the task. Lean serving Huskies. They're down 4-2. to two. Setting it up as Jennings. Jennings to the right side. Sets up Sang, and it's blocked the other way by the Huskies. Denicky and Miller, a formidable duo on that left side. 4-3, Huskies down, serving. Yeah, really good play there. Uh, good vision, saw it all the way. Really gave no, uh, no angle for Centennial to get through there. Here comes the serve, left to right. It's Harper Lean. It's a knuckler. They're going to set up Hakey. Blocked up high in the air, getting a hand on it nicely. Jada Johnson. Back to the Huskies. There, hit by Denicky was blocked back at him at a point, Centennial. I liked uh, with the, the adjustment by Jada Johnson. She didn't go up and try and, and meet Pecky's hit at the top. She sat back a little bit and, and was able to create a good deflection off of her hit Here's and the uh, allowed her team to save it. Sang served to the Huskies. 5-3 Centennial to the back row. Overhand saved by Sang. Pushed over free ball to the Huskies who get a chance to set up. Lean sets up Miller. Miller drives it down. Dug out Peterson. It goes over. And it'll be Andover ball. And point. They've got it to within one. 5-4 Centennial. Allie Denicky is serving. Lenz checks in. Denicky left to right serve. Push to the net. Then cross court set up for Hakey. Quick delivery. And she drops it in. Another kill for her. 6-4 Centennial. They get the serve. You know, if this, if this does end up going five, like we, you know, potentially think it could after that first set, uh, you know, heck, it could come away with, you know, something stupid like 25, 30 kills. Centennial trying to steer it to the middle, but instead it goes over their bench towards the bleachers. Point for, uh, point for Andover. They've cut it to one. It is six to five. Huskies down by one, and they will be serving here. Izzy Roy serving from the back row. Ready to deliver it from the far corner. Back set for Hakey. Goes cross court, but it's long. 6-6. Six, six. Here it is again, serving. And, oh, nice job by Centennial. They saved it back to the middle, pushed over by Mondry. Back on the left side, off the block, and out of bounds. Off of the Centennial block, point for Andover, and they have their first lead in the second set at 7-6.
Yeah, real, uh, you know, just kind of a get back to basics uh, point there for the Huskies. Got Centennial scrambling, was able to take advantage uh, getting that point back. Roy serving, Centennial setting up. Peterson the hit, dug out by the Huskies. And then Hakey blocks the little tip over by Moses, comes back to Moses, and uh, we're gonna get a point for Centennial. Double hit called on Andover with the ball on their side, tying it at seven, and Hakey will go back to serve here for the Cougars. Elena Hakey at a big first set. Drives that one across on the serve. Roy, pass it ahead. They'll set up Lenz, but she misses long. For Andover, point Centennial. And they've reclaimed the lead eight to seven. And last set, when, when Hakey came back to, to serve, you know, I, I would have to imagine the end of her bench is thinking, well, finally, she's not at the net now. And, uh, you know, she was. Oh, that's an ace, little curveball. Back corner near side. Talk about uh, painting the corners. That's exactly what she did there. So she's got an ace here now. I think she had, no, she didn't have one in the first set. But, uh, you know, I think she had two hits, uh, you know, massive kills from the back row uh, as well last set. So she's uh, she's able to, to work and, uh, and do her job from all over the court. Yeah, she's a threat from anywhere. This is going to be another ace. That one's up against the wall on the serve-receive attempt here by Andover, and Centennial has built a three-point lead here in the second set, up a set, it's 10-7. Hakey serving again. Jump serve from the middle, tries to go to that corner again, that's another ace. I have to imagine we're gonna get a timeout here shortly. Yeah, that was off of the arms of Jada Johnson. 11-7, and a good run here by Elena Hakey. Hakey just, I mean, there's just something different about how she hits the yep. ball. She has put the team on her shoulders here, and she does it again to the back row. Andover gets it to the middle, set up far side lens over. Hakey, Centennial sets up on the near side. Peterson the drive, and it's down. Peterson from the left outside, drives it down. It is 12-7 Centennial. And again, they won the first set, 26-24. This is the largest lead either team has had in the first two sets. Hakey again, the sophomore. That's a knuckler over the net. Somehow Andover got it up in the air. But on the second hit, not to the setter, it's 13-7. Here comes that timeout for the Huskies. A wonderful run here by Centennial after the Huskies had had the lead, what, 7-6? So it's a 7-0 run here for Hakey serving and the Cougars. You know, the, the first set, uh, it was, it was the story was Hakey with the attack, what uh, what she could do with the kill, you know, putting uh, seven down in that first set of the 26 points, you know, seven of them came off directly off of her hand. And, uh, you know, now in this set, I mean, she's got, as you mentioned, a six point run uh, as a service run and including three aces, three consecutive aces on that service run. So it's, uh, it, you know, definitely the Elena Hakey show. We're seeing uh, why she has yeah. such that, you know, that high ranking in her class here in the state of Minnesota. I don't, and I don't know how you, uh, I don't know how you neutralize her at this point. Well, you know, it, the big, the big thing is that you're going to try and, you know, attack her early um, and, and put, put her in positions where she can't, right. uh, you know, can't affect the play on, hit two or three, right? And, uh, you know, if you do that, then, you know, you're going to force other teams to step up. Here's Hakey serving. Andover scrambling. They had two players that almost collided into each other, but they turned that into a wonderful setup here in the near side. Ends up being a kill for Jada Johnson, who will uh, sit down. And you could see when they were serving earlier, they were serving to Hakey to try and get her... Uh, but they were still feeding her. They were going, Hakey with the good serve, receive, would get it to the setter, and then they go right to her in the back row. And got, a, as you mentioned, a couple of kills on that. So 13-8, Andover serving and trailing. That'll be an ace. Big time spot there for Grace Landry. She leads the team in, in aces with 45 in the season. Uh, had one in that first set, uh, that, and then now another one. She delivers here. Huskies down by four. 
Big hammer by Peterson for Centennial. Ready to set it up Landry. Goes back set. Swung by Swanson. Dug out Cougars. Over here in the near side, there's Hakey who has to set up Peterson. Huskies a chance to set up. Dug out by Centennial. Big left hand swing at the net by Manthe. Comes back to Centennial. Who then set up Peterson on the near side. And it'll be Emma Peterson, the junior. They kept feeding her here in the left outside, and there on her third attempt gets a kill, 14-9 Centennial. I, I, you know, we, we've talked a lot about Hakey. I, I'm so impressed on the elevation that Emma Peterson gets and, uh, you know, drives some power into, into those attacks as well. Serving now Emerson Jennings. Husky set up left outside, Swanson dug out. Cougars ready for it. Hakey, roll shot from the back row, it's over. Huskies set up left side, lands with the drive, dug out wonderfully by Wirkala. Back near side, Peterson. Huskies ready for that. Back set near side, Swanson drives. Centennial digs that. Here's Hakey from the back row. And it's dug out back row and over. They'll set up Lenz. Back to Hakey. Now cross set Peterson. That's going to be long. Into the off the fan and into the concession stand. 14-10, Huskies get the point on a long volley. Yeah, really, really good solid uh, defense there by the Huskies. Uh, a couple of really good digs there. Uh, Centennial had one too, as you mentioned, uh, was from Workala. But a uh, really good uh, good point there for the Huskies. Van Geem serving, 14-10 Centennial. Floating in the air, Emma Peterson punches it over. And Andover out of sorts, trying to get it to the net and to their setter. But out of the reach of Harper Lean, point Centennial. 15-10, they serve. Here is Emma Peterson, who's been very good on the left side here today. It's going to go over on the serve-receive right back to Centennial. Now back to Andover. Landry setting, double hit. Boy, they've really been calling those double hits. And that was a double hit again, this time on Andover. 16-10, Centennial. I think that's the, the, the biggest thing that, uh, from this vantage point, that's the toughest thing to see. When we're calling it perched, yes. you, you get to see those so much clearer. Another point for Centennial and another double hit. Double hit on the dig, it appeared. Timeout Andover, and Centennial has their largest lead of the match, 17 to 10. Here in the second uh, second set right now, the uh, sixth seed Centennial Cougars, they have the momentum after winning that first set. Yeah, absolutely. Right now, you know, they're kind of working within their system anything that uh, that does potentially work that they're uh, throwing out there it's all coming to fruition for them on the Andover side that's been you know a lot of pressure put on them by a couple of really really strong hitters in Hakey and Peterson for Centennial and uh, you know that type of play where you're worried about where that hits coming from allows you to you know forces you to be on your heels you're not as proactive and you're not as quick to get back into your offensive sets with a, with a solid dig, with a solid uh, uh, receive on your side. Seems also like the Huskies haven't been able to get Morgan Miller going either in the middle as far as feeding her the ball, and that might be because of the coverage that the Cougars have. Yeah, you know, it, it, it becomes a little bit of a cat and mouse game. It, what was working in that, that comeback, uh, you know, where the Huskies started to get something going was the outside hitting, and so they go there. You have to assume they have to be a little bit more balanced coming back and forth. Huskies drive, left side Denicky blocked by Centennial, but they can't keep it in bounds. It's out of bounds on the Andover side. So Huskies call the timeout. They've been productive in that way. They've gotten the timeout, then they get a quick side out, which has worked out nicely for them. They need a run here. Vocati serving down by six. Hakey plays it, back set for Kala. Off the block, high in the air. They set up Miller this time. She drives it. Dug out Peterson to Hakey. Right back to Peterson over free ball. Onto the Andover side. Setting Landry. Miller, her drive blocked right back at her. Then the free ball came over the net. And 5'8", freshman Aubrey Workala sails up and cleans up. I, I mean, that was a, just a really, really good play. You know, a, a good play at the net. Miller goes up to get it and... You know, somehow that one sails over onto the Centennial side, and immediately they, uh, they're able to recover and get that one going. Mondry serving for Centennial. Mondry up and over. Huskies set up. Near side drive, Swanson and the kill. Mondry tried to dig it out, and it'll go to point Huskies, 18-12. They're down by six. 
Yeah, it's amazing. You know, it's just a matter of a few inches or a few feet when you consider on the dig or the pass. When that one, it's either going to your setter. If it's a little too high, it's going to hang over the net, and somebody on the other side is going to clean up. And Centennial's been really good at those. They you know, have. They, they've uh, really taken advantage. Opportunistic. They set up Hakey. Hakey tried to roll it over the block, partially connected there by Andover at the net. But it goes outside of their uh, zone area and out beyond the end line. Can't steer it towards the net. Point Centennial. They're up 19-12 now here in the second set. Sang right to left serve. At the net battle, Hakey reached over. No. Andover. I guess uh, I, I guess Andover reached over the net. I just assumed it was going to be the taller Elena Hakey that reached over to try and block what Andover was doing. But uh, we're in the corner here, so it's harder to see. We're not right at the net. So uh, they called Andover for over the net. Meanwhile, Centennial, again, just continuing to enjoy and gobble up this momentum that they have. Lily Sang with an ace serve. 21-12. Seventh ace serve for the Centennial Cougars here tonight. Wow. Sang Less another. Two sets. Another really low one. Just barely played out. Up to Johnson. Knocks it over. Here's Workala. Set high in the air. She went backwards from the net to the attack line and knocks it down. 22-12 Centennial. Another kill. This time Workala has come up big the last few. Yeah, you know, it, it keeps kind of just moving down the line. You know, Hakey sets the tone, and then Peterson steps it up. Now we're call is coming through. Back to the Cougars side, and then Miller tried to drop it down. Well, Mondry digs it out, battle at the net. Punched over, we're call a block by Miller. Back on the Centennial side, it's going to land down. And that was a much-needed point here for Andover. 22-13, though, they need a big-time run. Yeah, they, they need something here. They've got Ali Denicky. She's second on the team in, sir, in service aces. This is going to be a, a time where they have to go get points in bunches. Denicky serving. They set up. Oh, what a tip by Elena Hakey. They have the double block there trying to defend Elena Hakey, the 6'3 sophomore, and she just dinked it right over. Here's the right to left serve. We're calling 23 13. And that uh, serve receive pass is off the mark and it's set point here for Centennial. Trying to take a 2-0 lead here in this match as the sixth seed, Rikala, the serve. Back row pass, Denicky steered towards the net, lean with her back to the net, and it's over by Andover, out of bounds. Point Centennial, and they take set number two. This one not nearly as close as the first one, 25-13. I tell you what, Pete, Centennial took command early in this set, and then they ran away with it. Yeah, it was a domination, you know, really kind of putting the, the Huskies on the ropes. And then on the flip side, you know, the Andover, their response is not playing very clean mm. volleyball. It, uh, you know, they're going to have to come back. Obviously, they're, they're down, their back's against the wall. They're going to have to win three straight to, uh, to advance and extend their season. Centennial is up two sets to all. We have the third set uh, coming up. Pete and I will be back here from Andover High School as uh, you're watching section playoff volleyball and QCTV Sports. I didn't ask to be thrown in the streets with nowhere to go, but I did ask for help and Covenant House was there for me. One in 10 young adults will experience a form of homelessness this year. For these kids who didn't ask to be put in this unthinkable situation, Covenant House is there, providing hot meals, a safe place to sleep, medical care, and love. They just really genuinely just wanted to help me succeed and I'm succeeding. To learn more, go to safeplacetosleep.org today.
Zion night tonight. Fans with their signs. North Carolina Tar Heels represented. I think it was a uh, USA red, white, and blue for some of the uh, students here tonight and over high school in the section playoff, section 7 4A quarterfinals. And the home team, what well, we mentioned coming in here, the road team had won uh, the last five games and matches between these teams. And you go, oh, that can't continue. But boy, Centennial has shown that as the road team, they've come in here and played very, very well. And the home team, the Andover Huskies here in their home gym, they need a comeback here. And you can't win two sets all at once to get it to that fifth set, can you? You got to take it uh, one point, one serve at a time. One point at a time, and you know I think uh, you know the, the the goal here through this first this third set is obviously you you know you've got to win it, but you've got to clean up the the, the unforced errors. You've got to clean up the mistakes that uh, you know are on your side of the net. Has nothing to do with what the other team's uh, doing to you. Huskies started out here with the serve. Okady, Emma Peterson, right side block back. Denicky. And Miller, like we said before, they are a formidable side when they double up the block. And the Huskies off to a good start, one nothing here in the third set. Yeah, really good combo over there. They've uh, they've moved to that side of the net very well together. Bocchetti just barely over the net, but it's uh, dug out there by Wercala. Tipped over on two by Centennial. Back to the Huskies. They set up Swanson. That's dug out. Cross-court setup. Punched over Wercala. And the Huskies can't keep it alive. Okady along the back row, dove for it. It's tied at one. Very much, uh, you know, just scrambling kind of back and forth. Uh, both teams uh, just throwing hands, throwing uh, body parts at it. And, uh, you know, Centennial able to stick with it. Free ball over Vokady. They again had to scramble on that serve. Back at the net, Emma, or excuse me, Wercala. Tried to punch that one over, but uh, couldn't do so. 2-1 Huskies, they get the serve. Uh, those uh, those last two points, I mean, that's, uh, that's a situation where, you know, it's like, ah, volleyball guides are going to give this one to Centennial, and then they come back, another <laughs> scramble point. Let's give this one to Andover. That's the fun part of this sport. Lean serving for Andover. Going right to Hakey. Now they set up Wercala, and Wercala goes down sideline, but missed. Centennial bench thought it was in, but it was down the sideline and out. 3-1 Huskies. Good attack there, just a little bit uh, long, I believe, was on the, on the back side where they called that out. Lean serving. They're going to Hakey. Then Peterson, then to the near side. That's going to be long again, Wercala. Two of those here on the left side. We're calling it been pretty good in the last set, but she hasn't been able to keep it in the court the last couple, 4-1 Huskies. And, you know, one of the things I like here is obviously there's a little bit more communication going on on the end of side. They're talking to each other. They're, you can hear them yelling out. Uh, floor awareness. Those are all things that are happening when things are clicking and doing things well. Lean serves far side Peterson in the middle. Here on the near side, we're Kala, and that is knocked back to Centennial. In fact, it was off the net, not off the block. That's four hits, and it's 5-1 in favor of the Huskies. Just the start they needed here to try and keep this match going in set two, or set three. Down by two sets. And a name I don't know if we've called, but Abby Hosfeld has come in for Centennial and is now uh, manning the middle. Here's the serve again, lean with a nice service run. Back set, back row, and the timing was off. That was one of the few mistakes that Elena Hakey has made here tonight where she tried to just kind of dunk that one up over the net coming in from the back row, and she came up short. I think she wanted to jump for that and kind of remembered at the last second, no, oh, i got to keep my feet on the ground here. Here's Hakey. Tipped over on two. Miller ready for it. Right back to Centennial. Here comes Hakey with a big drive. And it's down. One of the girls here has a Mike Arizioni jersey on from the 80 Olympics. And uh, it's his birthday today. Is it really? Yeah. There's Mike Arizioni. I, I, I would care to guess that she might not know who that no, is. No, no. It's a heck of a jersey, though. Yeah, Does she know that he scored the game winner against the Soviets? No. And that he used to paint with his puck and stick. He did an ad for like American Express or Visa or something where he 
They were doing painting on a on a canvas using his puck and his stick. And he did an M&M's commercial, too. I remember that. 6-3, Huskies lead. Centennial serving. Roll shot over by Landry. Quick set in the middle. And Hakey, did she hit it? She did. She hit the far corner. 6-4, back to Centennial. So, I, I mean, that one, again, we're, we're at a bad angle, but why is the, the, the up official looking at the near side lines person? He's got the best angle right. to, I agree. to make that call. Mondry serving back to Centennial. And this is going to be a double hit on the set. They were trying to set it over here to Abby Hosfield, which we mentioned checking in for the first time tonight. Point to the Huskies. They lead 7-4. to four. Trying to get it to a fourth set at least here. Down two sets, zero. Left to right serve Denneke. And that's going to be an ace. Serve, receive. Emma Peterson had to go off her arm. Ricochet to the bench. 8-4 Andover. Second ace here tonight for, for Allie. And, you know, she's a, she's definitely a player that uh, could could lead this team on a, a run here and get some points in bunches, get them back on top. Denneke serving the set to Hakey was off. Huskies tip it back at him. Bocati has to dig it up after on the Andover side. And they just called four hits on Andover. So substitution here for Centennial. 8-5 Huskies. Cougars will serve. Lily Sang stepping back to serve. Lily had a nice uh, service run last Matt, or last set. Delivers top spin over on the third hit. Van Geem, or excuse me, Lenz. But not over in the net, and it stays on the end over side. 8-6 Huskies. Centennial serving. They're chipping into that. Was a Husky four-point lead. Serve again. And this is going to be a miss hit. Actually, end over over the net. So 8-7. That lead down to one. Lily Sang serving again, trying to tie it up. Little top spin. Getting under it for the set was lean. Back row attack, Denneke goes long. And Centennial, after being down, they've come back to tie it at eight. Good run here for, for, for Lily Sang. You know, she had a four point run, uh, getting the Cougars up to 24 points last set. And uh, after we sing her praises, she misses the court. That one trying to go down that far sideline. It misses wide. Point Husky side out. They get the lead back 9 8. They'll substitute uh, Isabella Moses in. Good size off the bench. 6 1 middle hitter. Actually, she started and comes out in the rotation. Now she's back in. Huskies will have Izzy Roy serving. Again, uh, the Huskies defeated Centennial three sets to one when they played earlier back at Centennial Thursday, September 28th. There is the serve. Back set, right side, Haasfield. Back to the Huskies. Trying to get to it. Lean did a nice job not landing in the net. Kept it alive. Back to Centennial. Back set for Hakey. She took a bad set and still delivered it. Over on one for Andover. So Centennial sets up again. In the middle, driven over Peters. Peterson. Far side down, dug out again by Centennial, over on one! And getting a hand on it was Moses in the middle for Andover and finds an opening here on the near side and down. Big point there for Andover. Yeah, a really good spot. Uh, you know, Moses had that one kind of lined up and hit that off the side of her hand. I th think it might have been intentional. She went to a wide open space for Centennial. Yep, she was able to avoid the block. Meanwhile, Hakey got a chance in here on the left side, and she missed. So uh, she's not as sharp as she was earlier here, and that's okay for Andover. Trying to keep them off balance a little bit. 11-8 Huskies back up by three. Serving again is Roy. Hakey gets it, drives back row. Quick set in the middle. Tipped over Moses. Comes back to the Cougars. Just at the attack line. Played over where call a free ball. And then Hakey, that is up amongst the duct work. Off the dig by the Huskies. And then over by Landry free ball. 
Here they are setting it up again. Back row attack and down Emma Peterson. I think the Huskies thought they were setting up Hakey who was in the middle at the net and instead they went to Peterson who was the back row and she drives it home. 11-9 Huskies by two but the Cougars get the serve. Yeah you know you, you want to give so much credit to the Huskies there for being able to, to battle that ball going up into the rafters. They're still able to get it over and then uh, kind of get rope doped with uh, everybody following Hakey. Aubrey Werkela with the serve and the drive and the kill here for Andover. Good job there by Grace Landry. 12-9 Andover. Landry serving. Third set. Huskies down two sets to zero. The Landry serve. And that's a miss hit off the net. That's an ace serve. Werkela could not keep it in the court. 13-9 Andover. You know, and that's some of the things too, you know, it, the scouting report you'd have is, you know, maybe that's a that's a player we should probably hunt. You know, I know she's been out of full season under her belt, but Peterson missed. Looked like it was touched by Andover, but actually was off the top of the net and wide on the Peterson left side kill attempt and attack. 14-9. Huskies. Up by five, timeout Centennial here in the third set. Yeah, really good timeout there by Coach Christensen of the Centennial Cougars and, you know, realizing that you don't want to just give the Huskies momentum by letting them win this uh, this third set. You don't want to just let them continue to, to build confidence and, and feel good about, uh, you know, the things that are working and uh, and lose all the things, the momentum that you built up in those first two sets. So good time out here. Let's, uh, you know, kind of rally the troops, get back people back and, you know, get back to the basics of what's helped them. And they played really, you know, solid foundation, fun, you know, in the back row. They've received really well. And then they played strong at the net. Huskies have seven seniors on their roster. Miller, Roy, Moses, Swanson, Van Geem, and Landry have all played. It's up to them, isn't it? It's up to the seniors here. You know, down by two, reach down deep, get that little extra. You, know, you don't want your career to end. And yeah. uh, they're trying to make that happen here in the third set. You know, and I think, you know, coming out of that timeout, if you're the Huskies, is, you know, Try not to do that, but that's uh, you know that that'll happen. Yep, Landry but, with a service error it goes long. But you know the what you really want to do is just say, hey, you know, instead of talking about the match or anything like that about the seniors, is you know, hey, this isn't our last set. Let's go give them a good set and come back and see what happens in the next set. Huskies push it over, free ball to Hakey off of the Centennial serve near side. They set up Peterson high off the block to the back row for the Huskies. Roy in the middle, Moses, and that's off the Centennial block. And the flex out of bounds. Point for the Huskies. And that uh, gives uh, Claire Van Geem the chance to serve here. 14-10 Andover. Van Geem over to Sang. Miss hit that one a little bit, but they're able to recover. Workla hits it over free ball. Pass Moses. Punched over Huskies. Quick little tip over by Manthe. Tried to do it on two, but I think they got her in a double hit. And they did. 16-10 Huskies. It was 15-10 Huskies. They were slow on the scoreboard there in that last serve. I was panicking the was entire 14, point because I'm going through my chart. And I'm like, I know we're at 15. I thought so too, but I, I don't usually question the scoreboard. 16-10 Huskies. Battle at the net on the Centennial side. They'll push it over. Huskies recover. Quick set by Landry. Tipped over Denneke. And it's back over Centennial. Peterson uses the top of the net. Dugout back row Van Geem. Scrambling comes to Denneke. Dugout Centennial. In the middle. They scramble. It's over free ball. Andover will set up there. Landry to Denneke. Drives it down. Right at Elena Hakey who got a hand on it. But it's 17-10. Huskies are up by seven. Timeout Centennial. That, that uh, right there is, uh, you know, you show that raw skill that uh, all that potential that coach Huberty sees and Allie Denneke and uh, you know it, I mean the reason that she's focusing so much on volleyball moving forward I mean she is so gifted so talented so athletic I mean she won or she was all state as an eighth grader in the high jump uh, you know she is, is has got some some really really good springs in there and uh, got up
and swung that one real hard. There was no chance for Hakey to get that. So just a quick recap. Centennial won the first two sets here. The first one was back and four. Andover controlled the first half of that first set, but then uh, Centennial went on a run, ended up uh, holding off the Huskies 26-24 in set one, and then in set number two, 25-13. Centennial took command early and ended up winning that one pretty easy, 25-13. Here at 17-10, Huskies Andover trying to get it to a fourth set and extend this match. Yeah, in that, in that first set, uh, you know, Centennial won that one by being stronger and finishing more at the net. Team's battle at the net, kicked out. Andover kept it alive, but it's four hits. They ran out of hits on their side point, Centennial. 17-11 in favor of Andover and uh, Emerson Jennings serving here for Centennial. Right to left serve, Centennial in the red uniforms, Andover the home black. Cougars ready, right to left. That is, I thought was gonna be long from our angle here, but Claire Van Geem didn't think so and it kinda hit her on the shoulder. Point Centennial, a serve, 17-12. You know, and I think that she was it, it really trying to get out of the way of that one and that ball just kept turning into her. I think she thought she was moving out of the way and it just kept going at her. Jennings serving again. Played by Roy, far side Denneke. Dug out Hakey. Cross court here to Peterson off the top of the net and across and it must have been touched because I didn't think it landed in but uh, the Husky block must have made contact with it so it's a point Centennial. 17-13 Husky Centennial serving. Yeah, I'm not sure that it could have landed on the line on the far Possible. side as well. Um, some I, didn't see any, uh, I didn't see any indication from the linesman on that side. Tipped over and down. Good job. Good improvisation there at the net in the middle by Isabella Moses. Gets the Huskies that point back and the serve back up 18-13. Obviously must win situation as Morgan Miller checks back in for Andover. And we'll get to Addison Vocati on serve. And here is her serve, wearing that white libero uniform. Back set, Peterson's on the right side. Now overhand dig by Vocati, steered to the net by Landry over free ball, Denneke. Hakey, cross court set for Centennial, and Emma Peterson, one of her rare errors here. The set wasn't where she could really drive it, so she just tried to swat it over, but it's in the net. Point Huskies, 19-13. Vocati serving again. And that's off the net cable and comes right back at him. So service error there, 19-14, point over to the Cougars. Down by five, Emma Peterson serving. To Vocati, set by Landry, to Miller, off the block. Nicely played by the Cougars. Peterson sets up. Hakey, back row, Andover ready for it. Back set, Landry near side. Rolled over, Swanson. Andover gets it over to Centennial, and Centennial gives it right back to the Huskies. Hakey delivers. Huskies, far side. Swanson with a drive across, and it's down on the Centennial side. And the Huskies, the first team to 20 here. It's 2014. You know, a quiet, uh, you know, a very solid game here for Madeline Swanson. Uh, you know, that kill for her, uh, you know, marks the one, two, three, four, fifth of the game for her. And she's, uh, you know, been very solid on that, that right side, coming up with some big hits throughout, the, uh, throughout this set. Harper with a little top spin or back spin serve that time by Harper Lean. And it was tipped by the linesman, said the tip on the Andover side, and that'll be point centennial. So it ended up out of bounds, but uh, the ruling a touch on the Andover side. Centennial gets the serve here down 20 to 15. Avery Mondry, their libero. Black uniform in the middle. Quick set for Miller. Miller swats it right at us. Rattles around here right in front of us, but it's out of bounds, 20 to 16, another point. Here for Centennial, another serve from Mondry coming up. Yeah, you know, it, a good attempt there by Morgan. She tried to go to the outside just a little bit too hard. She had the right angle, just wasn't able to uh, get that one down to the floor quick enough. Mondry serving, overhand serve received. Far side Landry, Mondry again, setting it as Jennings in the middle. Tipped over by Hakey, and the Huskies 
can't keep it alive. Hakey's known for her power, but she's had some very good tips tonight, too. Yeah, the, the finesse game is, uh, is obviously, uh, you know, something that she keeps in that back pocket and goes to not very frequently, but uh, she played it very well right there. Centennial chipping away. They got it to within three, and Andover just hit the ball in the net. Left side, Landry with the attack, and that goes in the net. Point here for Centennial, and they're now back within two, 20 to 18. And now Andover feeling the pressure a little bit here because they know they need to win this third set, but Centennial's breathing down their neck trying to rally after being down by seven. And, and you know, I think, uh, you know, the attempt right now is to, to just stall out some momentum, you know, prevent a, a long run here um, with, with Mundry serving and, uh, you know, get, get above 20 points, get above 21, you know, just one point at a time. And, you know, I wouldn't be surprised at all, both, uh, you know, uh, timeouts that Centennial's taking both of their timeouts as well. I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, you know, it does go Centennial's way here that we get an immediate timeout again from Connie um, if it does get to be within one. Yeah, you're up by two at 20. You know that you can still exchange points back and forth and still win the set. You know, Andover still has the advantage. Cougars have to go on a multi-point run here. To take control over and over here. 2018, Mondry serving for the 9 and 13 Cougars. Goes to the back row. Volcati steers it to the middle. Back set by Van Geem and Denicky missed. Oh, she had a nice clear alley and just missed. And it's 2019. Yeah, you know, it was uh, it was right there, just to sailed a little bit wide. Mondry serving again, right to left. Little top spin on this one. Lean. Denicky blocked back at her, up in the air. Volcati sends it long. And Centennial has come back to tie this at 20 all in the third set, up two sets. Centennial has been resilient all night long. When they've been down, they've been able to come back. Mondry. Volcati back row for Andover, set by Lean, Miller the drive, dug out Centennial. They set up Hakey, Volcati digs it out, Denicky on the far side, Mondry on the Centennial side. Pushed over on two to Volcati for Andover, then Lean with a back set. Tipped over Landry, ready Centennial. They set it up again, and that set was off, played over free ball. Huskies have Denicky who wanted to drive it. It hits the top of the net and comes back at her. And Centennial has the lead, 21-20, timeout Andover. What a run here by the Cougars. And now they have uh, secured momentum. They've grabbed it back here. They're up two sets to 0, and it's 21-20 Cougars. I mean, it was 2014, Huskies serving with uh, one of their better service members uh, out on the floor. And, uh, you know, here we go. It's uh, it been six, seven straight points now for Centennial. Um, you know, the, the, the pressure is mounting on, on the Andover Huskies now, mm -hmm. and then now they have to really, they don't have that safety net. They don't have that, uh, you know, we jumped out to this big lead and, and this affords us to, uh, you know, to try something new. They have to get to the, the, the base, the foundation, the, the set, the, the play, the call that they know they can go out and execute and win. Huskies taking as long as they can in their huddle. They know it's make or break right now, down 21-20, and Mondry continuing to serve. How long has her service run been? Five? Uh, this is, this, they're on a seven-point run seven right point now. Seven-point run. Mondry delivers right to Volcati. Comes back to Denicky. Overhand dig. Peterson sets up right side. Sang over and down. And everything falling right now for Centennial 22-20. The sixth seed. First, uh, second, first kill of the night for Sang. Mondry. Serving again from that far side. Well, Katie just got that one off the floor. And then Morgan Miller tried to go down the near side. Tried to cut it and miss. 23-20 Centennial. 
Again, right idea, just, uh, you know, didn't have the right angle on it. Uh, I don't think she hit that one very clean off the side of the hand, it appeared. Mondry serving. Volcati again. Back set by Lean and over and down by Denneke. Cougars couldn't get to that one. Big point by Denneke. 23-21 Centennial and Denneke will serve to try and make a run now for Andover. The a pressure's bit, on them now. A little bit of a change up there from Denneke. I think they caught was a little bit far back. She was a back row hitter. It uh, worked out for the Huskies there. Denneke served to Peterson. They cross court set up and it's out by Hakey. She tried to go against her body. Her body was going to the middle, tried to cut it against her body down the near sideline and missed. Big point Andover, 23-22, down by one. Centennial leads two sets to oh, Denneke with a serve. Mondry, jump set in the middle, tipped over Workala. Set up for Landry for the Huskies, and she finds a hole in the back row. And here are the Huskies coming back, tying it at 23. Oof. <laughs> We're only in the third set, Jim. I know. This, uh, this one's kind of been a, a little bit of a, a roller coaster both sides, uh, especially this set here. Denneke ready to Mondry. Up high, calling for it. Peterson set to the net, punched over back row. Denneke, then it's lean. Over on the left side, Lenz. And then to Miller, and Morgan Miller and a ball that came over, free ball in the middle, and she cleans up on that, and it's now set point Huskies. 24-23. It's a funny game. Denneke serving for the set, and she missed. Tried to go cross court to the far side, but missed right in front of the Centennial bench. We're tied at 24. And again, Centennial's up 2-0. The pressure's really here on Andover, obviously. Sang serving, 24 all. Played in the air. Pushed over Landry and down. Good job there by Lenz. Gets a kill from that far side. 25-24 Huskies, and they have the set point. Really good reach there by Lenz. That ball was traveling from, you know, from over her left shoulder to her right. She was able to bend that, arch that back, and uh, get a good strong hit on that one. Roy served, but it's Centennial. Perfect. Bump set, and then the kill by Elena Hakey. We're tied again at 25. Huskies have had a couple of set points here, but Centennial has battled back each time. Aubrey Workala ready to serve. Right to left, jump set from the far side. Overhand pass, kept alive there by Lean. Driven over Huskies. Hakey at the net with a two-hand push. Comes right back, tried the two-hand dunk. Huskies ready for that. Now they set up far side. Lands off the net and down on the Andover side. And it's point Centennial. And now they have match point 26-25. Workala serving it again here for the Cougars. Match point to the back row. Up high in the air. Getting underneath it is lean. And then blocked by Hakey and down in the middle. And it's down on the Andover side. Centennial, the sixth seed, wins this third set, and they win the match. 27-25 here in the third set. They win it 26-24, 25-13, and 27-5. And in the end, just as she had dominated earlier, it was Elena Hakey with that length, that height at, at, at the net, just hard to beat. Yeah, you know, she's, uh, she's got size, athleticism, and, uh, you know, a really, really strong tool set that uh, allows her to be a full rotation player. She should not come off the court, and, uh, you know, she showed every bit of why she is so highly touted at her age here in the state of Minnesota. And for the Andover Huskies, they finished their season at 10 and 18. Just mentioned the seniors, uh, Devin Maslowski, Morgan Miller, Izzy Roy, Isabel Moses, Madeline Swanson, Claire Van Geem, and uh, Grace Landry wrapping up their careers here tonight. Tough loss for the Huskies. They come as a three seed. I know they wanted to, they expected to do better here tonight, but they just ran into a centennial team that uh, played better, and they were playing on more more cylinders, uh, almost all cylinders all night long. Yeah, you know, it, it always seemed uh, on the centennial side, uh, they were able to make a, a big play or a scramble play at the net. 
um, or on the back end. I mean, they were so strong in the service uh, on the service line. Uh, you know, creating a lot of those runs that uh, were able to erase deficits that the Huskies had, had built up. Three set sweep here for Centennial, now 10 and 13. And they'll play either Forest Lake or Duluth East coming up on Monday in the semifinals. If it is Forest Lake, Coach uh, Nicole Christensen will face her alma mater coming up on a Monday. Meanwhile, the season ends here for Andover. For everybody in the truck, Section 7 for a volleyball coverage. Pete, good working with you. Thank you. Always a pleasure. All right. For Pete Anderson, I'm Jim Erickson. From Andover here tonight against Centennial wins at 26-24, 25-13, 27-5 to advance. I'm Jim Erickson, and this is and has been high school volleyball on QCTV Sports.